Hi, this is Erin Peliquin from MCP Actions. Today I'm going to show you how to use the MCP Facebook Fix free action for Photoshop Elements. To download this action, go to the Facebook fan page for MCP Actions. That address is facebook.com slash mcpfans. Again, that's facebook.com slash mcpfans. This is the only place this action is available. After downloading the action, you will want to install it using either the PDF instructions that come with your download file or using the video tutorials that are on mcpactions.com. After you have installed the actions, you can access them in the effects palette, which is usually on the right hand side of your screen in Photoshop Elements. Make sure that the third button from the left, Photo Effects, is highlighted and select MCP Facebook Fix from the drop down menu. If you don't see the effects palette, go to the Windows menu and click on the word effects. This action will optimize your photos for posting on Facebook. Um, both as far as the size and resolution and um, the sharpening level as well. You can optimize one image or two images either side by side or on top of each other. You can also add a watermark or logo if you'd like. I am going to start with the action that sizes one image. You can see that I have that image open already and I'm going to double click on the one image icon. You can see that the image has now been sized appropriately and to sharpen it, I will double click on the Facebook sharpening icon. Whenever you get a message in Elements giving you the option to continue or stop within an action, make sure you press continue, otherwise the action will undo itself. The sharpening action creates a new layer. You can adjust the strength of the sharpening either by increasing the opacity for more sharpening or decreasing the opacity for less sharpening. I'm going to leave the sharpening on this image at about 60%. Note that you also have a layer mask if you want to hide the sharpening from parts of your image only. Um, for instance, I think this asphalt might be a bit too crispy and sharpened, so I am going to select a paintbrush with black as my foreground color, and I'm going to double check that my layer mask is active for editing. That means that there's a white outline around the layer mask rather than around the image. So with this white outline around my layer mask, I'm going to paint on the image in black anywhere that I want to hide the sharpening. You can see now on the layer mask that the black is indicating the areas that I haven't sharpened. Next, I'll show you the two image collages. I'm gonna start with two images side by side. Um, note that to run this action, you do not need either of the images going into your collage to be open. However, you do need to have one image open in Elements. It doesn't matter which image that is. Since I've already got this image open, I can go ahead and double click on the action and you will see Elements is building the new layers on the Layers palette. I'm going to select Continue and navigate to the first image that I want to put into the into the collage. I will move it around until it is located where I want it. Note that I have the checkbox up here in the constrained proportions field. That allows me to size the image to fit the area. So I am going to pull it in just a little bit and then relocate it. Um, and note that I do grab on a corner sizing box to make sure that the proportions are constrained and the image is not um, moved or sized out of proportion. Next, I'll press the green checkbox and I will navigate to the next image. Again, I'm going to move it. Make sure that my constrained proportions box is checked and then I will find a sizing box with the corner and I will size it just a bit and move the action and then I'll press the checkbox. 
Um, now I'm going to sharpen this image by double clicking on the sharpening action. You'll see that the image is flattened. And again, I can adjust the sharpening intensity. I think that this one, I can probably bring down the sharpening just a bit. And now I'm going to add my logo. Um, again, I will be prompted to navigate to the logo file. And you can see that I can move it wherever I want to and also use the sizing boxes to size it. I'm going to bring this one right here and press the green checkbox to commit the changes. And again here, if you have a darker logo and you wanted to make it less opaque, you could reduce the opacity. That's it for the two images side by side. Now I'll double click the two images top and bottom action. Again, Elements is building the action. I'm going to press continue to navigate to the first image. I will drag it into place and drag a corner. I have to find the sizing boxes. There we go. Sometimes you have to hover the mouse until you find them until it fits just perfectly. You can also use the arrow keys to fine tune your location. I'll press the checkbox and press continue one last time to navigate to the second image. I think the size on this one is great and so I'm going to press the checkbox to commit the image and then I will sharpen. And I do want to bring down the sharpening on this one to about 30% I think is good. I'm going to end by placing the logo and I will size this one down substantially double checking that my constrained proportions box is checked and I'm going to make it even smaller and put it right there in the sky. Click on the checkbox and I am finished with this image as well. If you have any questions about the free Facebook fix action for Photoshop elements you can post a um, conversation topic on Jody's Facebook page or you can send me an email. My email address is erin at mcpactions.com. Thanks for watching and have a good day.